Okay, so everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about the diesel throttle valve. Because in this video, wherein I outlined all the differences between a gas and diesel engine, I made mention that a diesel engine doesn't need a throttle valve, unlike a gas engine. But lo and behold, this engine, a diesel engine, has a throttle valve, and that is this guy right here. Now, like I've already made mention in this video as well as in this video, in a gas engine, you need a throttle valve in order to regulate the flow of air to balance it with the amount of fuel you allow inside the engine. Because in a gas engine, a fuel-to-air ratio must always be maintained. On the other hand, on a diesel engine, you just want more air. The more air, the better. Now, if that is the case, what is this for? Now, basically, this throttle valve on a diesel engine serves two purposes. One is to minimize the vibration or engine shudder when you turn off the engine, and two is to help regulate the flow of the EGR. So let's focus on number one first, and we will discuss number two on a separate video about the EGR, okay? So we have here a side-by-side -side illustration, and as you can see, there really is no difference except with how they work. Okay. So on a gas engine, this valve or butterfly flap is closed when the engine is not running. And when you turn the engine during idle, it will only slightly open, allowing minimal air. And as you rev the engine stepping on the accelerator, this flap will simultaneously respond, opening up, allowing more air inside the engine. On a diesel engine, this flap is almost always open. When the engine is not running, this flap will be in this position. And as soon as you turn on the ignition switch, okay, it will open up completely. And when you turn off the ignition switch, this will simultaneously close and in so doing, minimizing the vibration or engine shutter. So if you ever wondered why newer diesel engines has a smoother shut off than older engines like this one, this is the one that is responsible. Let me show you the difference, okay? So as you have seen, when we turn the engine off, this vibrates less than this engine. Now let me take this off so that I can show you the valve in actual operation, okay? So right now that is the position of the valve and should we turn on the ignition switch, the valve would fully open and when we turn the engine off, it will also close for more or less 3 seconds and it will revert to its original position, okay? So watch closely. So as you have seen, that is how the throttle valve on a diesel engine works. In fact, it would be inappropriate to refer to this as a throttle valve because a throttle valve is a device intended to control power to an engine whenever you rev it up, like vroom, vroom, something like that. And this generally does not do that, with the exception, like I've said, when it comes to regulating the flow of EGR. As you can see, even on this engine manual, it refers to this as an intake shutter valve, close and open parenthesis throttle valve. Also on this engine manual, intake shutter valve, close and open parenthesis throttle valve. In fact, VW or Volkswagen refers to this as an anti-shutter valve or ASV in order to prevent engine shutter when you turn off the engine. But most people still refer to this as a throttle valve because it looks exactly similar to the one you can find on a gas engine. But like I've said and shown you earlier, they work very differently. While a throttle valve is an indispensable component of a gas engine, otherwise it won't work, on a diesel engine, this is merely an additional component intended to prevent engine shutter when turning off the engine and to regulate the flow of EGR, which will be the subject of our next video. So, stay tuned! So, as for this video, I do believe I will end it here. I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to, and as always, thank you for watching.